What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a continuation of a series from last month which was how to set up and run your own short linking service. So you own a domain, you can add short links to it much like Bitly or something of that sort. Now of course, with managing that software comes updates and things like that which I've showed you previously in my series. However, something that I recently ran into while going back to the platform to record another video, I ran into a simple issue of having forgotten my password. Now, of course, this wouldn't be too much of an issue for a normal software because you'd be able to go ahead and click a forgot password button, you receive an email and you reset your password that way. However, your URLs didn't ask us for our email at all. And in fact, we just created a user account and then added a password to it and logged in. There's no way of recovering an account here if you've forgotten your password other than manually changing your password by logging into the FTP or the file system of the web server and changing the config file yourself. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. My username was Technoba, can't remember the password, and it just says invalid username or password. How exactly do we fix this? Well, it's rather simple. Head across to where the files are, either on your local system or on a FTP, and you'll see something along the lines of this. Your admin folder, CSS, images, all of the rest of these files. But what we're going to do is we're going to head into the user folder, and then we're going to find config.php. Next, I'll right-click and edit it with Notepad++. However, of course, if you don't have Notepad++ installed, you can open this up simply with a normal Notepad. Now what you'll do is you'll scroll all the way down to line 63 or up until you see this over here. Dollar sign URLs underscore user underscore passwords array followed by your username and a password inside of these single quotes. Basically, all we need to do is get rid of all of the text between these single quotes so that it looks something like this. Single quote username, single quote equals bigger than and two single quotes with the line ending in a comma. What we'll do is between these two single quotes, I'll go ahead and enter some password. Now, of course, this will be whatever you want your actual password to be. Of course, just remember what you put in here. Save it, and then we'll head across to your file transfer protocol, or however you get it onto your web server, and we'll sync the user folder from your local file system to the remote one that's running your website. Next, we'll head back to our browser, and if we type in the username, followed by some password, hit enter, you can see that we're now logged into our user account, which is over here. Awesome. So of course, is our password saved in plain text? Well, actually it's not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download the user folder back onto my main PC and I'll overwrite files that are already there. Reopening Notepad++, it says the file's been modified. Do I want to reload it? Yes. And as you can see, our some password was changed into PHP pass, followed by all of this here, which is a hashed password, meaning that it's a one-way calculation. If someone were to get this over here, they would have no way of getting the original password from it, meaning that your site is at least safe from someone logging in and stealing your username and password. Of course, if someone was able to log in and find this piece of text over here, then they might also be able to edit it and just reset the password entirely, but of course, that's up to you how you protect it, etc, etc. This video was just a simple tutorial on showing you how to reset your URL's password for your account on your own domain. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobber here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.